Developing this morning, soccer stadium secured. Inner Miami CF scores a major goal after the City of Miami Commission cleared the way for the soccer club to build their home at the site of the Mel Reese Golf Club. It's been 86 years <laughs> in the making. Mm -hmm. The final vote, though, not without mm -hmm. a fight. Keith Jones is joining us with more. Keith. Well, it feels like it, doesn't it? Every time we mention this topic, people are like, how long has this been going on? Well, it dates back to 2018. It all ended last night after some heated exchanges between city commissioners. They took a 30-minute-plus recess. They came back, reconvened, took the vote, and this morning, this deal is done. The vote, four to one, four yeses, one no, and Melrose Country Club will now become Miami Freedom Park, home to the Inner Miami FC Soccer, or CF Soccer Club, pardon me. After a marathon commission here meeting last night, there were hugs between managing owner Jorge Mas, friends, supporters who showed up. What held up the meeting was an additional $20 million to be distributed evenly to parks throughout the city of Miami, not just here at Miami Freedom Park. The total rent paid over 99 years will be $2.6 billion. Now, Moss's team is going to finance the whole deal for this new stadium, commercial properties there, the 58 acres at Miami Freedom Park, and much more to this deal. Now, the deal did look a little different as it ended last night than what was being proposed as they started the meeting. The changes? Well, the rent floor for the land increases by $4.3 million. They also want to increase the rent during the construction phase, and they negotiated a revenue amendment to this in which the city gets a larger percentage of revenue shares. Now, I mentioned things got a little heated last Last night. What you're going to see here is the vote, the lone holdout commissioner, Manolo Reyes, as well as a very upset commissioner, Ken Russell. All in favor? Aye. It's going to be a no. I'm sorry, what? I think it could have been a better, it could be a better deal. I've been trying to be heard for the last hour, and I continually get cut off. If I had a nickel for every time I trusted your word, I could fund this Baywalk oh, myself. Lord Almighty. Uh, there were more exchanges like that as well last night. So also part of this deal, Inter-Miami has agreed to pay up to $120 million for the cleanup and remediation of Mel Reese Country Club because the land is considered to be contaminated. That is the very latest here at Mel Reese Country Club. Keith Jones, CBS 4 this morning.